Let's punch the ocean. All right, Mark V sample. Now, I want to say I've done this map before. I have. Okay. Yeah, so I've done this one before. This was, I think, one of the first maps that I ever did. Uh, mainly just because... I think this was kind of a tutorial on what the map generator could do. Interesting that it has a couple of, like, unique, unique locations. Uh, not normally seen. Or, really, it's just these solar panels are new. I feel like there's a lot of ideas that Knucklecracker had for Creeper World and didn't necessarily uh, include them. And I kind of wish he did. That I found Creeper World 4 to be, apart from the, th the move to 3D, which I think was the right choice, um, I was really hoping there would be a bunch of new, like, bits of tech that I could play around with. And didn't get. Not that it's that big of a deal, and I mean, it seems like he's still working on it, so who knows? Maybe we will get some fun toys to play with later on. I would love some kind of, like, tech uh, expansion that just adds, you know, cool toys to play with. Anyway, seeing as I, I know what this map is and I've beaten it before, if this is Cake Town, we're just gonna, we're just gonna goof mode through it. We must extend the grid. I almost, I almost kind of wish I could like pre-grid the entire map and have it not get messed up by that. Let's see. Yeah, it's close enough. I must extend the grid. Okay. So I think I I think it's right there. There we go. The grid. The grid has been built. We are good. Yeah, what I want to do oh. These are still not hooked up. What I wanna do is just slowly work my way out here. I don't think I'm going to be able to grid this area. I think it's just going to be kind of impossible, considering my constraints. There might be a couple of ways to pull it off, but highly unlikely. Okay. First and foremost, mines. Let's see. How do, I, how do you rotate again? O to rotate. Boy. I swear there was a... There's another way to rotate. But I guess I never rotate anything. So am I doing the challenge maps? Yeah, I'm doing the span experiments. The, uh... The just bonus maps that Knucklecracker made. I figured they would be kind of just a, a fun little thing for me to do. Uh, today. Okay, so we need to we need to get the factory down, and we got to get missiles down. Normally, I actually have to care about stuff. This time, I'm goofing, and maybe I'm goofing too much. Uh, but it's like I effectively don't have to worry about too much. I guess creep's gonna fill out there, but eh. Let's see, we sniped up. Eh, we're vaguely sniped up. I could probably have a couple more just just in case they decide to get spooksy. I don't think I'm going to be able to stop him from doing that, but that's okay. We're just going to probably fill up a bunch of mortars up here. There we go. Okay. So we got two potential spots. Ooh. Three potential spots. Okay. Eh.
I'm just going to hook hook these up as best as possible. There we go. Okay, so that's been hooked up. I want to just come up here and do the same general thing. Bunch of mortars on a hilltop. Just leave it. We're just going to turret rush straight into the heart of it instead of doing anything, um, you know, trying to slow walk our way in. I don't think that's actually worth my time. I don't see any urns on this map. So you missed a connection with the big top towers. Did I? Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. So let's probably start with a porter. Let's do a pair. Two porters, one for power, one for arg. Usually is going to be my methodology, I think. Okay. Wow. Are these... Yeah, these are... These are not the most powerful emitters I've ever had to come across. Or deal with. Okay, so let's switch you... To Arg. Now this is going to be... Vaguely dangerous. Actually, let's move this guy in here. Pop a nullifier down. Man. First time I ever did this map, I definitely did not know how to cannon rush. I'm glad I have since learned, as it 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 uh it pretty much does nullify any level of challenge. God, what was the first map? I think the first map that I ever actually tried a cannon rush on was the uh, the timed map in Creeper World 3. That was a that was a stupidly like I'm not gonna say a risky round, but There we go. You should be nice and good. So where do we go next? Probably here. Because that way I can get access to the spore launcher and the blob nest, and both of those are kinda spooky. Let's start with you. What blew up? Oh. That might be something we have to worry about. Weapon. Sniper. And misses. There we go. Question. Do we have any... Do we have any green ore on this map? I'm not seeing it. How the heck am I supposed to activate my totems? I mean, maybe it's buried under here. Actually, it just looks like the totems might activate on their own. Oh, wait, no, no. They're, sorry, it's not green arts. It's liftic. But it looks like we just get liftic. Oh. Well, that was bad. Something somehow blew up my pylon here. I was like, wait a second, these guys don't have anything. What's going on? Hey, thank you, Mr. Jens, for the sub. Let's see. So what do we got? I think we're good. Move to this over here preemptively. Let's pop this down. Now, the one problem is this is fairly deep. And we're not attacking from a place of height. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, where's the highest part on this map? Here. Let's try that again. Maybe if I had two. 
Actually, you know what? Speaking of two, let's switch this back to energy. Put them there. All right. How are we doing? Eh. Power's doing kind of fine. It's really just when I do this. That's when everything gets kind of messy. Okay, can I? I'm just going to fill these out. I must continue the grid. I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm just going to soup these guns here. we got to get rid of this creeper somehow. I'm just going to... I'm going to give up. As much as my weird grid-based addiction is something that I I wish to maintain just for the sake of the meme, uh, I also very much would like to beat this level in relatively short order. Okay. They doing good? Cool. And we should have the two power setups set up. How's that all of them? No. 25, that should be good. And if this doesn't work, we slow walk it. But I, it's like, I feel like as long as I can get this foothold on top of a hill, we should be okay. Okay. So now we got power. And while the walls are sort of closing in, I think we've got enough. Let's get a pair of mortars. And honestly, let's get maybe some more porters here. I feel like I could probably do this just using the uh, let's see, using what I've got. There we go. As long as these are not being over overused, we're fine. Pull a couple of nope. Well. Pull a couple of these out. Because I can get closer. Man, tower rushing is just, like, the cleanest. There we go. Then again, works way better on this map than probably most. Hey, thank you, Lord KO9, for the 100 bits. Let's see. Just found this channel on YouTube. Wander seemed like a cool, uh, chill dude. Yeah, thank you. Welcome on in. You're playing Creeper World. Hopefully that's obvious. Hopefully people know about Creeper World at this point. I actually have no idea how famous or successful this series is. I'm assuming it's, like, decently... Decently popular, considering how many people are, like, that passionate about it. Okay. Here's a question. If I put this here... Yes! Okay, so we can actually... We can make a connection. Okay, select delivery pad. I'm just going to move it over there. Yeah, let's just let's scoot this in. Because if I can get a pylon right here, that connects the whole network and we don't have to worry about moving the energy anymore. Oh. Well, that's a bit of a... That's a bit of a downer. Yeah, now, now that I got the resources for it, it doesn't matter much to me. 
As long as they don't punch back the connection, we're good. Okay, that's more missiles than any anybody has any sense for. Move these guys forward. Leave the missile launchers where they are. Okay, I think I can take these guys and scoot them. We're just going to take these guys and just advance them slowly. There we go. Perfect. Because, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is honestly one of the easier easier maps in the game. They probably made it just to showcase how the, uh, the randomly generated maps could work. But didn't actually fine tune it to be particularly uh, particularly challenging. Okay. Stop for a hot second. You. Get delivery pad. Move these guys over here. I'm just gonna keep turret rushing. I could keep slow walking, but like, why? Just move those guys over there. We'll leave, like, one or two, just kind of in the vicinity in case the creep decides to come back. Yeah, if I can get that. Perfect. Nice and hooked up. Slap a nullifier down. And then this map is in the bag. Gosh, probably one of the fastest maps I've done. Let's see, what else do we have? One more totem, and that's it. That's a wrap. Like I said, one of the fastest maps ever. Mark V sample. Took me a while the first time I did it. And then ever since, it was easy peasy. Okay. I see Hold'em in the corner. Hold'em makes me sad. Can't figure out how to nullify the things. Well then. Time for me to try Hold'em.